And here we go. This is the final of the black belt lightweight division. In the white gi, Francisco Sinistro. Representing Alliance in the blue gi, Gracie Bajas, Edwin Najmi. And an interesting point that we should mention here is this is the only final from today that does not feature a Brazilian competitor. Oh. America, or the American Arme Armenian, Edwin Najmi, up against, from Ecuador, Francisco Sinistro. And Najmi, he didn't have a great run at the European Championships in January. Very disappointed with his performance. Told me that he felt that he needed a little bit more time to perfect his game, that he wanted to get some more experience. However, fighting through to the finals here at the Pan Jiu-Jitsu Championships, wow, I think that proves that he's uh, adjusted something in his training, something in his approach. Yeah, absolutely. They threw all the end on the, oh. the double. Good reversal there from Sinistro. Sinistro, he has a very unorthodox game. Yeah. A very unusual approach to jiu-jitsu. You never really know what kind of attacks he's going for. Yeah. He likes to try to entangle the legs and... Thrives in the chaos, does Sinistro. Yeah. He really, he forces, forces his opponents to, to fight his game and to take them out of their element. And he is very creative in his transitions and very... Uh, hard to read because his attack sequences, they don't really come from the traditional setups and positions. Edwin Najmi, he's a well-rounded guy. However, you would have to say his preference would possibly be for the guard. Yeah, footlocks, dynamic sort of flying attacks uh, are some of those highlight finishes that he's had. And of course, as a student of Homolo Bahal, our middle heavy silver medalist here today at the Pan Jiu Jitsu Championships. You know that. Now he's on that footlock. Oh, he's, he's strong on the, on the footlock. footlock. Oh, there it is. Edwin Najmi, less than two minutes, wins the wow. gold medal with a footlock. Oh, you called it, Sean. <laughs> you said the couple of things that he's well known for. He's known for his flying attacks and his footlocks and that is exactly what he put to great use here in the black belt lightweight final sub two minute finish zap that was fast zap. that was fast from so, nowhere he's got a very good straight footlock no training He's had a lot of experience training with the, uh, the Estima brothers, Braulio and Victor. And Victor, one of the best proponents of that straight footlock. And he's obviously picked up a few tips in his time because Edwin Najmi, and here, something of a hometown hero. A lot of family support coming down. He's a, a Los Angeles born and bred. Winning the goal.